All right, guys, what's up? It's the Crip Creeper, crept out the layer here at Central Park, New York, bringing you a beautiful view of the west side of Manhattan and the first exclusive industry interview with Christopher Murphy, AKA Murph, who is the producer and he's also one of the stars of Zombie Hunters, City of the Dead. Great to see you, man. Thanks for having me. I'm honored to be your uh, first interview. Man, it's, awesome, so, it's so great to have you on this show, on the Movie Tomb YouTube exclusive. So let's talk a bit about uh, Zombie Hunters, man. Yeah. When did when did the show start? Uh, I guess conceptually, uh, the creator Pat Vanny came up with it around 2005. Okay. And actually, you... something like this got him started. Oh, really? Gates uh, around his house because the guy he bought his house from had uh, been a machinist and had all these iron gates, and he said. This is the place I would stop and want to have to fight the zombies. Nice. And that, then it just started from there. And then he contacted me. Very cool. And said, hey, you want to do this with me? And we were texting back and forth and very much, uh, a.k.a. Johnny Brennan, Jerky Boys, going, back, who's going to be in this with me? And he said, it's going to be me and you. And I said, oh, what's it going to be about? So he said, zombies. Zombies. Now, is this like the George A. romero X type of zombie? Com completely. Uh, awesome. Chris. We met Romero, gave him a copy of our DVD. And we were the first and the first game in town. That there was nobody else doing this. We're independent in New York. In New York, and no Walking Dead doesn't exist. And awesome. Romero says I was thinking about doing this for years. Okay. But he couldn't get the funding, and he was like, "Good luck with this. This is fantastic. Very cool." Because as you know, we're doing the story right from the beginning. Right. So right. I didn't go to sleep, or Pat's character doesn't go to sleep. We wake up and the world's already destroyed. We're showing it happen. Okay. Okay, so I know some of you are familiar with the show. Some of you possibly might not be. Um, your first season, how many episodes? It's eight episodes. And you have, you're actually working on the second season, we are correct? Correct, correct. We're working on the second season right now. Okay, so for people who haven't seen the first season, could you just give us a quick little summary of what they could expect? Okay, the beginning, we think, we're, we're really, if I, you live in New York City, there are almost no gun stores. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's that's not true. like living upstate or in Pennsylvania or out west where you know you can go into a store and buy a gun. And even to carry a gun, there's so many regulations. You have to keep it disassembled if you walk around with it. You have yep. to keep it unloaded. It's it's not like a state like Missouri where you can pretty much yeah. pack anywhere. Or Texas or anything right, like that right. where you can carry. And here you uh, you can't really go to buy a gun. Yes. And uh, that's what Pat said. He said, well, "What would normal people do?" So our characters are regular guys. Like I work for the post. Uh, post office and we have a couple handguns and that's it so we start out like that but we think we know what we're doing we make mistakes and it's very action-packed there are no commercials because cool. it's on uh, cable access but it's 28 minutes and in the 28 minutes the first couple of episodes okay it's a lot of action okay so public access but also can we buy this on dvd or yes anything? you okay. can buy it about 25 different websites including amazon who's the distributor of, of uh, uh wild eye distributor wild eye okay we're all familiar with wild eye very cool great guys so do they distribute the first and second season they are working on getting the second season as we bring it out okay i got you i got you because it's not complete how many episodes will the second season be uh as of right now we're looking at completing it in uh four but the last two can be up to an hour each so it'll be like a mini movie and what will the total episodes we'll be, be of season it should be a total of 12 episodes 12 and when do you believe that will be complete we're hoping well we're doing the big big stuff of 12 next summer so next that's summer. the plan to, okay. to work on that and cool. hopefully have a it's going to be ap apocalyptic awesome do, now do you have any uh, overall story arc when you feel it might end you know when you want to conclude it, you're just going to keep going as long as people keep watching well he he yes pat when he came up with the idea said this will be as a definitive end okay and when we first started we had 24 episodes great, great. but we also did another movie called emirage which you know about okay yep and sure. we're branching out doing other things and unfortunately it costs a lot of money to do this yeah definitely Def i mean it's independent filmmaking so there aren't big backers, there's not big studios behind it, you know, it's, and, it, it takes longer than, you know. And the things we do, which I'm very proud of, are our special effects guru, Mike Scardillo. Yeah, fantastic special effects on the show. I've seen several episodes. Amazing. Thanks, Chris. He, he will, you know, you can give him something and he can almost make anything with nothing. Yeah. But he spends a lot of money on getting props and then Pat, like, reimburse them. But we'll buy stuff. So, like, there's a couple of scenes where I hit somebody with a samurai sword. I have three swords plus the wooden sword. So each one of those swords 
while the first one's the real one, and we have our friend George Laskaris, who's a sensei out in one's a, a dojo in Greece. Okay. He does samurai sword. He advised me to get a real samurai sword. Uh, you know, battle ready. He gave me, you know, like stuff because we have, I have a background in martial arts, so okay. so does Pat. Oh, okay, so you have a background. So what uh, are you a particular belt that you've earned? Yeah, I'm a black belt in uh, kempo and jujitsu. That's some under dedication. <laughs> sensei Rocky awesome. Bubuso. I'm, I'm a white belt in taekwondo. <laughs> So, yeah. Well, you got to start somewhere. <laughs> you do. <laughs> Thanks for the encouragement. And, and that's the way it is. So we try <laughs> okay. to make the fights realistic. And you help choreograph the fights. I choreograph right? most of the awesome. fights with awesome. Pat. And uh, if we, we'll try to make it like what would real really happen. And, right. You know, sure, it, sure. It, try to be as realistic, try as, realistic possible as possible in this sort of post-apocalyptic-esque sort of situation. Which is so much fun because uh, Pat studies knife fighting and he's been doing it for like nine, nine years. Okay. So when it comes to the knife stuff, I say, hey, you know, you're the expert. Right. What do you think? What right. it, I know the sword pretty well, but the, the, to be able to send a message to our buddy who's a sword master and say, right. what do you think about this? And he can give you advice. And he was on set last time we filmed. He okay. was home from Greece Very cool. for uh, Easter, Greek Easter. Since we have international Yeah, international you know, crew we gave here. Him, <laughs> we, I wrote him a role. Uh, he's going to be playing uh, Sergeant Stavros in the scene. Okay, cool. And he's on set. When I had to hand my samurai sword off, it's in the best hands you can possibly imagine. Awesome, you awesome. Know, which was great. Awesome. And I'm sorry, I didn't mean to but no. when we do the special effects, we'll we'll do real practical effects. Okay. Okay. Right? When we, Very cool. we stab somebody, the blood shoots out. You know, if you are an independent horror film fan, you know as well as I know CG blows and practical effects, though it might be more challenging, that's the way to go. The only exception this day and age. is the gun stuff, because we film right. in the city. Yeah, yeah, so it, that is hard because you want to keep it local. You want to give back as much to New York filmmaking as you possibly can. We need more films to keep coming to New York. We have a, a plethora of beautiful uh, backdrops and so forth. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, I, when I'm not locked into the movie tomb, <laughs> you know, I love creeping <laughs> around the city. But, uh, Murph, man, it's been great having you on the show. Let me just ask you, um, so you had mentioned Wild Eye, folks can pick up. Um, also, Amazon. Correct? Amazon. Okay, Amazon, great. That is Zombie Hunter City of the Dead. Um, do you have anything coming up in the yes, next couple weeks? Yes, thanks for asking. Uh, we'll be at New York City Comic Book Marketplace March 1st. NYCBM. We'll be guests with... Saturday, March 1st. Who? Hot Rod Hot Rowdy Rod. Roddy Piper. <laughs> so we are psyched for that because awesome. in episode awesome. 8, awesome. we recreate in honor of John Carpenter and Roddy Piper and Keith David. Look at the, the fight. They live. They live. They live. It's one of the longest fight scenes in the history of cinema. The, uh, Roddy Roddy Piper. It's what eight or ten minute. It, it, it goes something, by something six, like that. Okay, but it's six. Brutal. Okay, it's it, you would right. be dead probably after the third minute. Right, right. But uh, we did the best to recreate. Then we added our our stuff. And uh, we, I met John Carpenter. He was like, what, what are you talking about recreate? I said, it, it was, he was very cool after I explained it. He loved the shirt. He's like, zombie hunters, what's this? What are you talking about? And Stealing he, my Halloween he, soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a, you know, he's a real independent guy. Yeah, yeah. Which is great. And uh, we're going to meet Hot Rod. And if you can come down March 1st, the comic convention is only 15 bucks. Okay. Um, at 5 p.m. is uh, episode 10 comes out. Episode 10 of Zombie, of hunters, zombie hunters. City of the Dead, season two. I will be there. And it will be available to buy. Okay. And it's a long way, two years in the making for this Okay, episode. okay. Awesome. Awesome, man. But dude, thank you so much. Thank the you, first sir. industry interview. Christopher Murph Murphy, actor, producer, Zombie Hunters, City of the Dead, doing it big in New York City, creeping around, you know. So thanks so much for coming on the show, man. It's your man, the Crip Creeper. I'm gonna creep back in the lair, watch some flicks. Take care, folks, and keep creeping.